Jurassic World, Fallen, Fallen Kingdom. Kingdom. Um, I think we were all in agreement. The last trailer that came out, the last full trailer that came out was pretty dismal. Dreadful. Yeah, it just, I thought it, it was fine. Dreadful. Yeah, Dreadful. Well, I, I can't really trust your opinion, Ben, because <laughs> you are such a um, Jurassic fan. Um, I, I, think I think the last one's pretty bad. You just said that you liked World. it. What? No. The, the trailer. Oh, I love this trailer, yeah. Oh, but you, you've admitted that you will, like, you will... You can't help but get, get excited, excited for a movie see, with yeah, dinosaurs. So if you're talking it, yeah, yeah. about like a trailer, no, but I don't, get tra- I don't think the trailers for this one have been good up to this point. I think they're fine, but um, this one I really liked. Um, yeah, I, look, I think we we I I'm not in hundred hundred percent sold on this. Mm. Um, I still think that it just it's reaching. I think a little bit. I don't like how expansive the plot has gotten. Like I, I like the kind of small enclosed um uh dinosaur horror but i think that that's what this was. is which is surprising because i think the plot is actually i think the like plot is actually points. taking shape in this movie which we haven't really seen before i think the because remember the director mentioned um with the last trailer that everything in that trailer was from the first hour of the film which we didn't know exactly what to make of that but yeah what we see in this it looks like the um the volcano island thing which seemed like the premise of the film is, is going to be the much, first act yeah and then after that it's going to be dinosaurs in um, like a more um, urban setting. Which I never liked in The Lost World. No, really? I, I really didn't like how that was <laughs> I handled. Lo- I love that I never shit. liked that. Fuck, but I this, think it's great. But this looks tantalizing. Looks cool, man. It looks I, like amazing. I it's like am, a haunted house movie with a dinosaur. This yeah. has roped me in. Mm. Like I'm, I'm more sold on this and... Um, we've discussed it before. J.A. Bayona, mm. he did the orphanage. Yep. Um, when a monster calls, um, which was uh, the orphanage was direct, um, produced by um, Guillermo del Toro, and he mm. definitely has that kind of sensibility. And I'm seeing this. I'm seeing some parallels here with like the kids' room, mm. the dinosaur in there. Well, it has that kind of a same aesthetic. And it feels I like love the look of this. And it feels like it's delivering on the promise that we got with that just that one shot from the first trailer of the dinosaur's hand like yeah, coming over out. the bed. The like, horror, so cool. The horror aspect was severely lacking mm. in um, the first well, yeah, uh, Jurassic just, like, World. That first trailer yeah. just didn't know what it was. But like Look, the, the I, Jurassic World 1, the, 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 the oh, prequel to this, yeah, yeah. Mm. like I'm glad they're bringing this back in because that sequence in the original Jurassic Park mm. in the kitchen, yeah. I want more of that stuff. Yeah, oh, no. and, then, and that's my point though. But like in, I think that there are going to be scenes, at least based off the trailer, that are going to be really good and really tantalizing. But I have a feeling that that's not really an indication of how the movie's going to go because that first hour, I think, is going to be nothing about that. It's going to be horror. I think that's all going to be like that first act of them on the island and lots of action and big, you know, him jumping through the jaws of that T-Rex, which I just you, I kind of like roll my eyes at. Um, and then, then, yeah, you might get a couple scenes towards the end of that kind of slow horror burn. Um, but I... I I just I feel like it will be too little, too late in this film. Do you think there's going to be a disconnect between those the tones? It's, it's so hard to tell. I just I, I'm I'm reserving any kind of like cheering moment because I still think that from uh, yeah I don't know it's it's hard it's hard for me to explain. Just I I get very uneasy when I see this film or Co- with this trailer compared to where I was at mm. before seeing this trailer. I've really come around on this. I'm around it. Around it. I'm so around it. I, I'm really on board. I hope I don't have to eat my words on this one, but um, I, I think the, re- the director is really cool. And um, Hopefully he brings it home, man. Hopefully, yeah, man. I'm, I think this looks great, <laughs> um, which is a nice change from how it looked previously. I yeah. just, dinosaurs, man, I can't, I can't not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, Chris Pratt didn't even bother me in this because uh, I don't like him in the first one whatsoever. Yeah, he really didn't. And I, I, I thought he was... Um, I liked his line about, um, you know, if I don't make it, remember that you brought me here. <laughs> the the dinosaur seems to be taking front and center stage, mm. as a, and he just seemed to be a sort of cog in the in the movie, mm. as and opposed the, to, to the lead guy. How about the auction scenes? Cool, really cool auctioning Very cool. off the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, I love that stuff love in the Lost it. World about the, like the San Diego park that they're trying to build and everything. I think it's cool that they're following yeah. kind of that that path a yeah. bit. Was this? Um, at least at some stage slated to be the plot for the first one, but they were going to bring back like genetic, genetically mutated and then weaponize them. Um, that was in the first one. That was a, that th- was in that the was first a one? Yeah. thread of the first one okay. that with um, the, 
Vincent D'Onofrio character. Yeah. But um, no, Jurassic Park for for a lot of years they were planning to do some weird genetic yeah. hybrid stuff, but that never yeah. that never came around. 